Hello, my name is uh, Gennard Garcia. I'm with Pulse Secure, Technical Marketing Engineer. Today I'm going to talk about the different load balancing algorithm that we offer in the latest version of our solution. So, before I start the discussion of what we offer, I would like to list you the different algorithms that we have. So we have the round robin, we're going to uh, abbreviate it to r and &R. We have the weighted round robin. We also have the least connection. We have the weighted least connection. So don't get confused with the uh, when, when I say weighted, it's pretty much just a variant. It gives granularity and I'm just going to abbreviate to LC for least connection. And then we have the, the fastest response time, and I'll go to details of why we should use perceptive or least connection later on. And then we have the perceptive, and then finally we have the random node. Okay, so those are the seven different uh, algorithms that we have, round robin, weighted round robin, least connection, weighted least connection, fastest response time, algorithm, perceptive, and random node. So those are seven different types. So let me start with the round robin. This is going to be your most typical uh, algorithms. All the load balancing solutions that you have uh, will have this thing. So first thing I'm going to draw is our VTM, Traffic Manager. This is basically our ADC, Application Delivery Controller. And how it works is that we have nodes, which are pretty much servers, that we uh, provision within the VTM, Traffic Manager. And I typically call it, to make it easier, Server 1, Server 2. And here, let's just assume this are clients, you know, client network that uh, will be accessing the traffic IP to the servers or the nodes at the back end. So in a standard round robin uh, configuration algorithm is that it does not calculate anything. The idea is pretty much you do your round robin by passing back to back to the available servers. Let's just say server one is the first one. What well, would be the next server that he has to go to? He has to go to server two. Or if we have three, he has to go to the, or four, he has to go to the sequence of first, second, third, fourth. And then goes back to the server one, and it just does that. And this is very useful in a live environment so that you understand or expect, you know, how things are load balanced in this, in this scenario. So this is very common in the uh, uh, lab or testing phase uh, uh, solution. Now, let's go to the weighted round robin. Very similar. The only difference is that with weighted, you can determine the type of server that you have, and you can also, when I say determine, you can pre-allocate how powerful your server at the back end, uh, pretty much. What this means is that if server one was purchased a year ago, which is typically you know, much faster compared to the previous five years ago, uh, typically server one will have more power to take the load or traffic from the clients, right? So with, with weighted, you can define on each configuration on a server from one to 99, meaning one is higher priority, you know, because you're, you're, you, the, the server has more memory, more, probably more memory and probably more powerful CPU. So, and in comparison to 99, which is really, really, uh, you know, low powered server. So you can define this within the VTM configuration. In this case, let's say as an example, if we have purchased this thing about a year ago, 
the second server maybe two years ago. The third year, you know, we're just reusing. We don't have the budget. So maybe probably five years ago, and this one is five years ago as well. So in this case, you know, as the year, you know, as the server goes uh, older and older, you know, the power and the processing uh, it takes is much, uh, you know, you got to take that in effect. So with weighted round robin, you can pretty much define, so as I mentioned before, if you, from 1 to 99, uh, configuration 1 as, you know, the, the most powerful one. So in server 1, I put 1. In this, I probably two, 20, let's just say 20. And then the older servers, I can probably configure it as 50. So what it's going to be doing is that it's still going to go to its round robin, but it's going to take priority on the server 1 in comparison to server 2, 3, or 4. Okay, So that's your weighted round robin. Now, let's go to lease connection. Okay, let me redraw this again. We have VTM. You got to always have the VTM. We have the servers. Server 1, server 2. You have your client, right, accessing. So lease connection is pretty much what the VTM, the traffic manager, is doing is it's checking on all these servers or nodes on the back end. And it does a calculation, you know, on the VTM, who has the least connection across either between server 1 or server 2. Once it figures out, oh, server 1 only has 10 connections, server 2 has 5 connections, which one should I go? So the algorithm will pretty much say, VTM, I think server 2 has only 5 connections, so we'll send the connection to server 2. So that's your least connection. This is very common and very typical in high load static content uh, environments. And uh, you know it's also best for standard HTTP and HTTPS. And also you know one thing that you have to really uh, consider is that when you're deploying least connection, when you have a very high traffic and high demand environment, maybe think about something else because uh, the least connection, the, the, the more traffic you get, it gets discombobulated in the algorithm. Uh, but, uh, you know, and, and I'll cover some of the things that uh, I can recommend as to which uh, algorithm you should use. So that's your least connection. Now, again, we have a refinement of a least connection, which is called weighted uh, least connection. Very similar to the round robin, but this one with the least connection, it considers uh, and it, it gathers the information from the current state of the servers. How many uh, requests are they accepting from server 1 and server 2? And again, we also have the weighted 1 to 99. So you can define, depending on the capacity of your server, you can define, let's say, if this time server one is not very powerful, it's been there, it's, it's one of the first uh, generation servers that you have purchased in the past, maybe put 50. And then server two, maybe you just purchased one because one of the servers died, CPU might have, uh, you know, burned out or anything, you could define this as one. So that is your uh, weighted least connection. Now, let's go towards the other option, which is fastest response time. This is the, based on the calculations that the VTM does, because when you, when you configure VTM, it's actually looking at those, it, it's doing some time to live, it does health monitors across all the different servers that you have to make sure you know, they are healthy. By the way, the health monitor is a standard feature in VTM which pretty much monitors and it does an ICMP, it could do an application check, you know, various ways to, to monitor the servers to make sure that they're up and running. You don't want your client to be sent to a non-working uh, server. Uh, so with the health monitor, it monitors in a second basis to make sure that the 
the uptime of these backend servers are, are, are functioning, okay? So going back to the fastest response time, the VTM will send uh, requests to these servers, a test request, and calculates you know, how fast did you come back? 20 millisecond, 200 millisecond, and based on those information, it will define it on the VTM that, oh indeed, server two is the fastest one, the next request, I'm gonna be sending it to uh, the to the uh, to the next uh, to to server two instead because you know I believe it can uh, you know react to the request much faster. Be careful as well uh, unexpected behavior on low traffic. If you have very low traffic, uh, fastest response time could be a problem because it calculates based on the number of requests. Okay, so that is your fastest response time. Now we have to go to perceptive. Perceptive is very interesting. Uh, perceptive is actually a combination of least connection, least connection, and fastest response time. So with those different uh, algorithms or calculations based on the response time and the least connection, we have created what we call perceptive. This is gonna be uh, very useful for high traffic, high demand, uh, transactions and I, I, I like this. It's very recommendable in a HTTP, HTTPS environment. Uh, uh, and I'll give you my final note in terms of which one I should uh, uh, you know, uh, recommend in terms of uh, algorithms. With the perceptive, again, uh, it checks for least connection. It considers that. And then it checks for the fastest response response and based on those information it goes back to VTM and it will come up with a list of you know should I go to if you have multiple servers server one no let's go to server five server one again server two so it will create that algorithm until it reaches a threshold and then it recalculates again okay so that is your perspe per perceptive uh, load balancing algorithm and then we have what we call a random node. Random node is pretty much, uh, it's an internal algorithm that we have uh, created at Pulse Secure that pretty much you don't have, uh, 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 you know, you, you cannot uh, determine which server it's gonna go because we have created, it's just basically random. So, Maybe two that way, two servers are two requests are sent to server one, and it does not look at uh, based on response time or uh, least connection uh, reasons. It just sends it accordingly. It it, it doesn't matter if it's uh, a fast server or or a, a slow server. So it just sends it. So again, uh, these are the different versions of. Um, uh, server load balancing algorithms that we offer with the Pulse Secure Traffic Manager. And um, on a final note, one of the, one of the a highly recommended algorithm if you're deploying in an HTTP or HTTPS environment would be least connection. I think this is the most uh, safe and reliable least connection. The next one is probably uh, response time as well. It just depends on the um, uh, traffic that you're going to be uh, taking and also perceptive is another one if you need additional information about these algorithms uh, feel free to go to our user guide so that uh, you can read a little bit more about it and understand how they could affect and enhance and accelerate your services uh, in the future